Hey guys, it's Ruby. It is that time again. It is time for the October update. We have tons of news, openings, shows, as well as a bunch of Halloween events that you guys need to check out. And I have some big news for my channel. Before we get started, if you are not a subscriber, I am trying to reach 200,000 subscribers, which is crazy. Hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. It helps my channel grow, which then helps me make more content for you guys. Let's jump right in. Big news. The Wind's new show. This is the show that's replacing Le Rev. Awakening is the name of the show. Said to open fall of 2022, which is right now. The theme apparently is saving the magic, which could mean a lot of things, but apparently on the casting call sheets, they are saying that the performers need to not be afraid of heights. So not much more information. They've been really tight lipped about this, but once this show is open, I will happily try to go in there and see how this show is. Very excited. The conservatory has changed over to fall. It is now harvest theme. So the fall one is usually one of my favorites. Really excited to go and check this one out and once I am back. A new hotel proposal near the Allegiant Stadium. So this one is set to be a 19 story, 340 room hotel with pool, restaurants, bars, rooftop terrace. And this is going to be a part of the stadium district. So this is gonna be a one square mile of food, entertainment all around Allegiant Stadium. We have something very similar in Milwaukee uh, called the Pfizer Forum, and it's kind of the same sort of situation. So I'm excited to see a hotel gonna be in that area. It'll be another part of Vegas to explore. MGM Grand just announced they are going to have new West Wing rooms, and these look really nice. You guys know I've avoided the West Wing like the plague because I've heard they're worse than a cruise ship, but these look amazing, and I'm excited to go check these out. I'm gonna have to go back to MGM and do another review once they're open. I feel like MGM is finally doing a lot of renovating on all of their rooms with this and New York, New York. Happy to see some freshening up on their properties. The 13th annual Las Vegas Food and Wine Festival returns October 5th through the 9th. The main events are taking place in the Tivoli Village, and that is on the 7th and 8th. Todd English is one of the headliners, along with a ton of other chefs. So it's going to be fantastic. There are going to be events all throughout Vegas for this, but get your food and wine tasting on. Let's talk about Halloween events. There is so much to do in Las Vegas for Halloween. Now let's talk the big parties first. Palms is absolutely gonna be your place to be for Halloween weekend. On Friday, they are hosting the Thriller Party. This one has been running for 14 years. It's gonna be in Chaos Nightclub. Chaos Nightclub is no more. It is not open, but they use it for events. So it's kind of a cool way to go into a nightclub that's not even open. The Thriller Party is gonna be 80s and 90s themed. You can get tickets for that one. And then on Saturday, they're hosting the Sin City Halloween Ball. This used to be called the Fetish and Fantasy Halloween Ball, which is a way better name. This one's in the Pearl Theater and Palms Conference Center, and it's like actually like a huge show on top of a party. And they have an after party for the ball called Afterlife Nightclub of the Living Dead, which is a very cool name for a party. That one is also taking place in chaos. This one's gonna be more of that EDM dance party music. Oops, oops, oops. They said they're gonna have some of the best DJs headlining. So two different styles of party Friday and Saturday. You guys are gonna have to space out your partying. Make sure you get your tickets for those and come in costume. Maybe I will see you there, but I will be costumed. So I'm gonna be incognito. If you wanna go see a show, Zombie Burlesque is running in the Miracle Mile shops at Pontiac Hollywood. This is just like a really fun kind of sexy show, but it's kind of Halloween themed. I know they run all year, but zombie burlesque is very fitting for October. You could also go to the Zach Bagans Haunted Museum. Friends of mine went, they loved it. If you're into like haunted items as well as artifacts from horror movies, they have a lot of that stuff here. Couple jump scares I think throughout this one, so. Definitely be ready. Speaking of jump scares, the official Saw escape room and the Escape Blair Witch escape room. These are on Industrial Road and they have a bunch of different hours running depending on the day of the week. Prices are around 50 bucks. This is kind of by the Stratton Golden Steer, so it's really north, but if you wanna go to an escape room and be scared out of your wits, you do that. That is gonna be a big nope for me. 
Another show you could go see would be Chris Angel Mind Freak or his Amistica show. Those are over at Planet Hollywood. Again, magic, but kind of spooky, scary. Or when in doubt, you can always go to the Fremont Street Experience. It's free to go there and it is a huge party with concerts and you don't even have to plan ahead for that one. Just get in there, have your ID, because I know they're gonna be having all the security up and everything. Been getting a lot of questions about the Blake Shelton Bar Old Red. Old Red is a bar and restaurant concept by Blake Shelton and the one in Vegas is going to be the largest ever. Now this thing's not set to open until 2023, so we don't have a ton of information yet. We do know it's going to be in front of where Bally's Grand Bazaar shops used to be. This place can seat 686 people and it's gonna be 27,000 square feet. So this thing's gonna be gigantic. I have mentioned this earlier on my channel, I just don't have more information just yet, but it is still coming, you can see it on their website. Jalisco Underground opened September 15th at Resorts World. This is located underneath Wally's and it's basically a tequila speakeasy. So based all around tequila and they have a really cool little bites menu, including $100 nachos it's called. I don't know if they're actually going to be $100, but it says there's truffle queso and caviar. So if they are, I will go try them and let you know because that sounds amazing. Mega Art Zone is now open at Meow Wolf's Omega Mart inside Area 15. So this is going to showcase local artists and there's going to be vending machines with little mini art, kind of like the Artemat machines over at the Cosmopolitan. So a great way to showcase some local artists. You can buy tickets for this right where you buy Meow Wolf tickets. So very cool. Bally's, as you guys know, Bally's Horseshoe has been under all kinds of renovations. It's getting transitioned into the horseshoe and they opened their sports book. You guys know that they pulled out their really cool sports book and it is now gonna be an arcade. So they've opened one of these little mini sports books. I hope this doesn't become like the norm. As long as they keep the really big sports books alone, I'm fine. But like a lot of the hotels are getting rid of them entirely, which is a bummer. Vetri Cucina is returning to Palms on November 1st. This is big news. Vetri Cucina was like a very celebrated Italian restaurant. It's tiny. There's only 75 seats. It's very intimate, but super high-end, high-quality Italian food. And it was beloved by locals and people that were in the know. People weren't sure if it was gonna reopen and it is coming back. So this is very exciting news. I have never tried it, so I can't wait to go and give my review for you guys. Let's talk about some concerts, residencies, things going on in October. We have Maroon 5 at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Rod Stewart and Van Morrison are at the Coliseum at Caesars. Diana Ross and Duran Duran are at the Encore Theater. Miranda Lambert and John Legend are at the Zappos Theater at Planet Hollywood. We have Usher and Aerosmith at Dolby Live at Park MGM. Panic at the Disco and My Chemical Romance at the T-Mobile Arena. Darius Rucker at Red Rock Casino, A Day to Remember at the Pearl Concert Theater at Palms, and Action Bronson is gonna be at the Brooklyn Bowl in the Link Promenade, which is awesome. There's also the When We Were Young concert happening on the Las Vegas Festival Grounds, October 22nd, 23rd, 29th. I'm still mad I don't have tickets for this show. It is essentially Warped Tour 2008, and I am, I am dead. I'm gonna just sneak over a barrier and get in there, you guys. This concert's gonna be amazing. So if you're here for those weekends, be ready for chaos. It's gonna be very busy. We were here in Halloween last year and it was insane, so busy. October is a really fun time to be in Vegas. October brings football season. With football season comes watching football. Where do you do that? Well, sports books are my first go-to for you guys. Circa's is the best sports book. And while you're in Circa, maybe consider getting a day pass to Stadium Swim. October is fantastic weather, and I can't think of anything better than watching your football while you're in a pool enjoying a drink on this gigantic screen. So that would be my suggestion to you guys. Speaking of the weather, it's really nice in October. This is what I'm considering to be very pleasant. Beginning is gonna be in the 90s, but then as you get further into October, it will be in the 80s. However, in the evenings, think fall. We're talking like mid 50s in the dead of night, so it really does drop a lot. This is the desert. So if you're coming in October, plan for some sweatshirts. You are gonna need them if you're out late at night or you get up early for some reason like we do. Okay, you guys, huge announcement for the channel. We have started a second channel called Ruby Slots. I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below. We did a little soft opening, so there is some never before seen on YouTube slot play over there. 
Slot play has always been a big part of our channel, but I know that some of you guys love watching the slot play and wanna see more, while some of you guys just wanna watch the vlogs. So it made a ton of sense for us to just start a slot play channel separately because we wanna start doing way more slot play. Think daily slot play. We are also planning to do monthly group pulls and we will have a schedule out to tell you guys when we are gonna do each group pull for each month including October. Really excited to be doing more slot play for Travel Ruby. If we started out doing slot play, we love it. It's always fun and I can't wait to be doing more and set aside more time for it. We will be in Vegas October. We are gonna be there for an extended amount of time. So cannot wait to see you guys all there. See you on Halloween. If you're there, always please do say hello. Stay tuned, we're gonna be going live. That was it for this one, you guys. Tons of good information for October. It's a really fun month to be in Vegas, so comment down below if you'll be there. I hope to see you guys all there, and I will catch you all in my next video.